who only had a couple of possessions last year in the grand final, but did his job today. Well, Sammy is a, a premiership player. He's one of the best clubmen. Um, loves to organise the footy trip every year. He's just one of those guys that everyone loves and um, he's always good at being and smile. There it is, the perfect spoil. 150 for Butts. Um, I think he's the last one left from the, the Premiership era, so um, back then I don't think there would have been too many that would have picked Butts to have been the last one standing, but uh, he's great to play with, works, works really hard, um, keeps it pretty basic. That's an absolute credit, 150 games and, and a Premiership, so uh, tremendous. Butler should mark, he does, go away from Campbell, Sam Butler. had so many injuries, um, but to be able to bounce back um, a better player after each one of them um, is you know, just a credit to the work rate that he's got. Barry Hall, he's got Richards free, took too long! Butsy, a great clubman, uh, he, he genuinely cares about everyone on the list. Um, I remember when I was a first year player, he was the first bloke to ring me up and congratulate me on getting drafted. He lived five minutes around the corner. I texted him one day to see if he wanted to go to the movies. It was kind of like a date. I was a bit embarrassed texting him and he texts back, who's this? It was, it was great, but from there, friendships blossom. He's been, uh, he's been a good teammate to me, but everyone else as well. With a soccer background, he's really good on his left and right foot. So, um, you know, he always says that post football is going to give a crack, the A-League a crack. So it'll be inter interesting to see how he goes with that. Oh, that's magnificent. Oh, Sweet, don't awesome mind. <laughs> Mark, Mark Paducah would have loved oh. that. He's been around the footy club for the longest now, so, um, you know, he's to get 150 games, I'm sure it's going to be a huge, huge moment for him, and life membership's going to mean a lot to a, to a bloke like that, which is great. Whirling it, back tracks. And <laughs> has the crack, and that could be a tight turner. Great player, uh, hard at it. I uh, love watching him play and playing with him. Um, 150 games, another great achievement. Um, coming from Collingwood, Premiership player over there, so hopefully we can notch up another Premiership with West Coast. Yeah, the show's been great, especially especially last year. Um, really took, he really took the next step, and his speed out of the back line and the way he uses the ball is, is something that um, the club's really benefited from the last two years. To Wellingham! The thing that Sharon has is he's pretty truthful in, 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 in the footy. And every time he's at the club, he always wants to win and um, passes that on to the young guys. So he's, it's been pleasing to see him excel here and hopefully he can do that for a few more years. That's what you want. Somehow Sharon's aloofness uh, works in his favour as a backman. He seems to get things done with not a care in the world and he'll just pop out of a pack and come flying through and do a couple of spins. Uh, aerial contests as well. Um, he certainly doesn't get stressed out on game day. Uh, it's not a part of his makeup. He's a uh, cool, calm, and collected on and off the field. He's done well, and here is Wellingham showing that sort of stuff, that anticipation. Uh, he's been a really good sort of influence on me and, and helping me integrate into the into the group of players, I suppose. So um, yeah, you can't meet, meet a better bloke than Sharon. Oh, look at Wellingham, did it on the ground. That's why you're missing Pies fans. Hey, what a great snap!